So, uh, this is another attempt at this recording. I'm making some funny mistakes because I am like that. And uh, the purpose of this video is to test out a theory on a tense effectiveness in mission 6. Yes, it's again the dreaded mission 6, which cannot be beaten by any mere mortal. So we will take A10. Again, ace difficulty. Why ace difficulty? Because it's ace difficulty. And uh, if you can beat it on ace, you're doing uh, this stuff I will be doing. You can beat it on any difficulty. <clears throat> we're, we're taking long day. And we will take the partless A10. And we will see how much effort we will need to do to beat this mission. I've even pre prepared the uh, lie split system to uh, verify how much time did I need uh, for each uh, of mission targets. I'm kind of dead today, so my English is probably even worse than before. But oh well. Here's the A10. And I will start the timer as soon as the mission starts. Uh, so we immediately accelerate to the first base because we have some cheap targets in uh, the form of F-16s and we need to get those before they take off. And as they start taking off, almost immediately after the mission starts. So the first two are on the runway, and the second two are ours for taking. Slow down. Two missiles to the first one, and machine gun for the second one. You can take down oil tanks for good measure. Drop two bombs on the 260s. Two missiles and machine gun blast for the third one. I kinda missed. So I'll do it on another swipe. Watch the radar. If you see aircraft targets that are turned with, uh, turned, that have turned back to you, just take them down immediately. Those air targets are three points. One missile for gas tanks. And we have our free F-16, take it down, just like that, and just move on. It's the base one. Shoot the trucks down, they're well lined and A-10 is master at taking out targets like that. Now take the bombs and bomb these little clusters of targets. One. Now we have the Kenyan base. It's a bit hard to navigate, but nothing too hard. Take out Sam, take out tank. Slow down in this place. Bomb these guys. And use MG for these targets, they are pretty easy. MG will do here as well. Just don't go too fast. Speed kills. And bomb these warehouses. If you are targeted by missile, pull up. This bunch of targets is yours for taking out with bombs. Two bombs is more than enough. And if you will not hurry too much, the bombs will recharge by, th by these three targets, so take them down as well. And these three carriers are easy prey. More or less easy prey, of course. Don't waste too much time on them. Missile. 
they can be a bit naughty sometimes. Okay. And continue with the base. We wasted enough time on carriers. If they will get into our sights, we will be able to take them down. More bombing targets. And take out this AA gun. However you see fit. This Sam. These two guys are very much machine gunnable. So we can shoot them down. And this AA gun. Note that I'm not planning too much ahead. I'm just flying around and seeking the targets to get. Just watch your radar and look for targets that you can safely attack at each time. I think we, all, we are more or less done with this base. So I'll take this Sam down. No, oh, so we have still a bridge here somewhere. Aha, uh -huh, we have this little cluster here. So no, we are not yet finished with this base. We can take this stuff down. This missile is of danger and we have two flares left. We need to watch them now. We are slowing down a bit again to get on these targets and just bomb them. That's kinda it. I want Bazza with the final AA gun and I'll split here. So we have nine more minutes and we have those targets on the north. So we'll move towards them. We have 14,000 points by this point. And we have not that much work left to be done. It's preferable to machine gun any targets you can because uh, bombs and missiles are finite resource but as they say you do what you have to do. For example SAMs are better taken care of using missiles and bombs because they can throw a missile in your face almost at random. Ouch. Now that was not very good. Let's take out gas tanks. That was basically exactly what we, what I was talking about. Right, you can get shot more or less accidentally by Sam's. And when you are flying partless, this can be harsh. So if you have problems with survivability, try getting uh, the bulletproof fuel tank and automated fire extinguisher parts. Uh, they effectively make you unkillable if you take at least any basic amount of care in your gameplay. So we've cleaned up the third base mostly. We have that large cluster over there. And it's so much bombable. Now the drones will arrive at 6 minutes. So we have some time left, but even when the drones arrive, they are usually calm up to a certain point. They will be mostly focused on our allies. But you can uh, still aggro some on yourself, so watch missile callouts. Now we have this group of targets. Ah, there are the drones. They are a bit ahead of schedule. And as far as I understand, uh, there are some additional triggers that balance the point at which the drones arrive. 
like the amounts of damage dealt to the bases. Throwing some missiles at the targets. And there are some small target groups on the ground we should take care of. There are those APCs. Again, they are lined up almost perfectly, so I think we will just gun them down. As you can see, your reticle actually lies to you. You can start shooting before the reticle appears. And actual gun range is uh, somewhere around uh, 1.5 km. One bomb is enough for all of these guys. Now we have some a bit harder targets left to clean up. So this is uh, one. About this point, the drones will start start aggroing upon you. So this is where you need to start hurrying up about a bit. Your allies are dragging away lots of drone attention and some of them get shot down by this point. This is the reason drones are getting aggressive. They start noticing you. They are no longer fully distracted by your allies. That Sam is inside the tunnel. When you have beaten this mission, you can actually fly through a tunnel and get bonus points from shooting down an ace. So we need to make literally a single kill. Yeah, we at this point are finished with the mission. Now we need to survive up to the end of it. And as you can see on A10 we have literally 4 minutes left to do whatever we want. So uh, for many new players there will be issue of survivability. Now if you've done this mission fast enough you are stuck in the situation when you need to survive for 4 more minutes. And that's not very nice or good. Here's that straggler F16. We can break out uh, of the furball and go take it out. And we can wipe out the remnants of the third base. Again, we're not running for points. We're running for beating this mission. What's that? Ah, that's the remnant carrier, so we can take it out as well. Oh, he wants to leave. How adorable. Use your superiority in slowness to take down enemy aircraft. They will try to slow down and leave you ahead. But you are slower than them. Now this AV-88 has launched a missile and I don't understand at what. But he's showing his back to us, so we can just send him some presents. Ah, he decided to turn at this point. Oh well. Again, get on his tail and shoot it down. The drones will come after us, so we will need to break with them again. Now we can throw a bomb at these guys. And take out this AA gun. And just go past the drones, they will try chasing us. Nicole. 
As you can see, at the final base, the Gripens are taken off. And these are the final set of valuable targets you are getting. So if you are low on score at this point, about 2 to 1 minute walk mark they will take off. If this happens again at not really defined time point, as I, see, as I can see. Uh, I'm lucky to see them take off. Oh, and I missed him. But in any case, these are your valuable targets and you can take them down. They have the same uh, simplified AI F-16s have, so they won't be too much of a resistance. You can just follow them and take them out. Unlike drones, these guys are pre-food as well, so you can take them down easily. Like this. And... Uh, oh, he dodged. And... That's the end of Gripens. Just, just wait till they show you their tails. And always try to head at an angle towards the attacker. So watch your radar and see where are the missiles coming from. Ah, yes, and after the mission has been completed, you are getting uh, missile warnings. This means the missile can still take you out. So watch that as well. So I was doing pretty much nothing i was not dog fighting i was mostly targeting uh, ground targets and i'm still at 27000 points so this is 10000 more points than you need on normal and uh, something like 6000 points more than you need on hard so as i said a a10 makes this mission trivial if you are using it right And we still got an S rank. With with all the stuff we were doing, we still got the S rank. Now this is the point of this video. So I hope whoever watches this no longer has issues with this mission and understands that this is a game about properly picking your targets and properly picking your plane setup. If I had parts on this plane, I'd do this mission much easier. And I wouldn't even have to worry about being hit. You know what? I can even illustrate this. Let's queue it mission. I'll pick A10 again, same setup, but I'll select some parts. So what do I need? I need bulletproof fuel tank, I need automated fire extinguisher, I'll take Queen's Custom, it's overall a good stuff. I'll improve missile reload, I'll take hardpoint expansion to have more bombs. Uh, and I think, uh, so what else do I need? Now this will not really be needed. Bonus acceleration will do. And in the green sector, we can take self-defense jammer, which, which will help us with uh, missile targeting. And, 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 and... Where was it? I'm kinda out of my... Uh, 
I guess I'll take propulsion device just for uh, the basic missiles to be more fast. So now we have boosted our A10 with everything we have. Let's sort it and see how differently will this mission go. I almost forgot to initiate the recording. So we have the F-16s to take down. Look at our speed. It's a bit higher now with uh, parts. Again, slow down. I miss this guy again. I'm basically doing exactly what I was doing the previous time. Ah, oh, this didn't hit. Just don't waste time, just fly around, enjoy the views, take down the targets. And set the base one. Don't forget to always slow down. Tanks take two missiles, so finish it with your MG. These two warehouses can take a bomb. Ouch. And I got hit. This helicopter wants some trouble. Use bombs. These guys are naughty again. That's not much of an issue. Just do your magic. But don't waste too much time again. Time is score. These guys are kind of nested inside, so we'll take them on another swipe. Don't forget you can watch at where the target is using holding target button. Helps a lot in some cases. So 
so again this base is more or less out so we can do these maneuvers And we have some more targets to deal with. Not much. I think this will be enough for this base. And get out of here. And go for the base number 3. Of course, you can approach this operation kinda differently. Taking out these guys. Now you can just run around the final base and do some blowing up here and there. Oh, these two F-16s look too tasty not to de be distracted by them. I got hit, but I have fire extinguisher, so those 7% of damage will heal. That's why this part is very important if you need survivability. There are the drones at 8 minute point, so they've arrived faster uh, because of some internal shenanigans. I never actually saw them to come in this early. That's interesting. But oh well, I think it's the score. I'm on 20,000, so maybe this is another trigger for drones arriving. Uh, for fun, this let's just let's just do the tunnel. If you fly through the tunnel, even on your fresh play, you can take out down, down the gripens early. <laughs> that was. There are gas tanks here, but I miss them. Let's try to find them on the targeter. Take this out. Ah, I missed the opportunity on warehouses. Yeah, that went kinda not very well, but oh well. I will not take down the kitten for the purity of the experiment. But the kitten has spawned and is now flying towards us. Ah. The mission is done. We have six more minutes. Uh, 
Now we can do again whatever we want. Let's take these two guys out as well. I'm not sure I hit that guy. Ah, here's the kitten. It's the F14 and taken. I think it's her down. Uh, we'll get you uh, a Tomcat skin. I'm out of flares, so I need to do some more active maneuvering. Ouch. They got me, they got me. So we need for the extinguisher to start functioning. The world is full of gunfire, but there's never enough DACA. Dodging again. Anti-air weapons? Mm, there are indeed some anti-air weapons left. Lucky here. Don't forget about clouds, by the way. Clouds help you a lot too. So if you need to shake missiles, just get into the clouds. So now the ground is mostly empty. Ouch, ouch, now that could have ended my run. That was my mistake, I started reacting too late. Luckily, I'm having a tank build, so <laughs> I could take this and survive, but... This is indeed a dangerous encounter. And again, you cannot do what I am doing and not try dogfighting in A10. It won't give you any good score anyways. Plus I'm ignoring Kitten. Ah, I'm out of missiles. Oh my. Oh. I've got one minute left, so let's see what will I be able to do in this amount. The two final missiles do regenerate, so you can still use them, just with some insane reload time. 
and they don't regenerate until you have at least one so uh, don't get stuck with single missile Something like this. And here's the mission. Okay. You hit the enemy base enough. Operation is complete. Head back. The bastards who flew off are going to wish they were never born. You guys well, this pass. is more or less the way this mission is played with a uh, proper path setup. As you can see, it's still rather easy mission. Uh, and uh, I got the full score by the eighth minute. Where's your sense of humor, guys? Your buddy's making a joke. Laugh already. So again, all you need to complete this mission is just not waste too much time on dodging. And A10 is the plane for that. some of you cross the river. 